lots of radar blips. Every blip is a shit. What's this? I got this guy. <laughs> On a body snatching trip. What really stood out in my mind about Defender is the arcade cabinet. It is the boxiest arcade cabinet I think I've ever seen. It's like the, the coin box, lower part is a box, the monitor is a straight box. No curves to this machine whatsoever. I like curves in my arcade cabinet just because it's something to hold on to. <laughs> Eugene Jarvis, who created Defender, uh, was actually a pinball programmer for a very long time and he continued to be after making Defender. He left Atari's pinball division and he went to Williams. Um, at Williams, he decided he wanted to try his hand at making a game. So he and Steve Ritchie, another famous pinball designer, started knocking around ideas of what would be cool and they thought, well, hey, let's kind of take this Space Invaders concept but turn it on its side. Defender had some really interesting things going for it, like the ability to scroll right and left and it's been credited as the first side-scrolling shooter. During its development, the designers decided that Asteroids really had something going for it with that wrapping right to left thing, but actually scrolling left and right was really forward thinking. 1980, it, it premiered at a trade show, not great response, but 1981, the game really takes off. It becomes one of the best selling video games of all time. All buttons controlled, you controlled the movement with one hand. Asteroid style. And there's like a bunch of buttons, the different, uh, you know, firing mechanisms. I mean, so many different buttons, right? And here, here it is, what, 30 years later now? And you walk up to a Defender machine and you were, it's just like riding a bike. You remember exactly all the buttons. Here's reverse, here's hyperspace, here's thrust, here's fire. I mean, it's all right there and it's like, it's like it never went away, right? It's not just about shooting the enemies and staying alive, but you have to rescue the humanoids as yes. well. Um, the game has a freaking mini map on the screen in 1981, which is huge. And the map shows where the enemies are. It, sh it shows you where the humans are. There's a lot going on. This is a really, really difficult game. Very hard, I think, to pick up and master in a quick time. It's not Pac-Man, right? It's not, it's not got the bright colors or anything to just draw you in and be like, oh, I know exactly what I'm doing. No, this game will kick your ass. Like a lot of games back then, sure, but it'll kick your ass. So it was so popular that what um, Eugene Jarvis did was he went and he started a uh, basically a third-party development house called VidKids, and their first game was Stargate, which was the sequel to Defender. It's a, it's a lot like Defender, and it's pretty much the same gameplay, and it has nothing to do with Kurt Russell. And basically it was an instance of more of everything and better everything. Uh, Defender did not look bad by any means but for the time. The Stargate, Stargate looked, looked even better. It looked incredible with the flashy lines of your, sh of your sh ship, and. The lasers you shot was like it was like trippy. You had to have mastered Defender, which is sort of its prequel, um, with you know five buttons and s sticks and whatever, all these different controls. And they added more uh, enemy types in, um, and it was just a harder, better game. Uh, they sold that back to Williams, so he made money off of it while still working for Williams. And then he went on to make more pinball machines. I still suck at this game. I, I appreciate it for what it is, definitely. If it's in, uh, if it's in an arcade, I'll give it a whirl uh, for a couple quarters, and then I will respectfully disengage. That's actually a problem. That, that made the barrier to entry um, much higher. So you couldn't just walk up to Stargate and play it. You have bested me, Mr. Defender and or Stargate. I'm going off to play maybe some skee-ball or perhaps some Donkey Kong, because I feel more safe with that game on the inside.